Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I want to talk about how to use a VPN specifically for Mac users. But the good news is it's pretty much the same process across all devices, whether you're on Windows, iOS, Android, or Mac. Once you get the hang of using a VPN on one device, you'll be able to use it on any other device with ease. I'll be demonstrating with two popular VPNs, so ExpressVPN and NordVPN. And I've chosen these because they cover the needs of the vast majority of VPN users. They're both reliable, secure, and offer excellent features. So let's get into why these two VPNs are great choices, especially for Mac users. First off, let's talk about how to get the most out of your VPN on a Mac. For example, if you want to access content that's available only in Japan, you can easily connect to a Japanese server with either VPN. So here's how to do it on a Mac. With ExpressVPN, just open the app and click the hamburger menu in the top left corner. Then select VPN locations from the drop down. Choose Asia Pacific and pick a server in Japan. So once selected, just click the on button to connect and you'll see it connects right away. Alternatively, you can use the search bar provided here. Either way, it only takes a second with Express and that's why it's the one I usually use. To double check your connection, you can use any IP checking website to verify that your location is set to Japan. With NordVPN, the process is just as simple. So open up this lovely map interface, zoom in on Japan and click on any server dot within Japan. Once connected, which clearly takes a few seconds longer with Nord, you're good to go. If either of these are of interest to you, I left the links in the description down below so you can take advantage of the discount we offer too. But overall, both ExpressVPN and NordVPN work smoothly on Mac devices. Which one you choose depends on your preferences. I mean, if you prefer something that's straightforward and highly reliable for streaming, torrenting, or general privacy protection, ExpressVPN is a great choice. If you want a more feature-rich VPN with great performance at a reasonable price, NordVPN is an excellent option. So first off, no logs policies are something that you should understand well. Both ExpressVPN and NordVPN are excellent in this regard. These guys are committed to protecting your privacy, which means they don't store any logs of your browsing activity, which is essential because the main goal of a VPN is to keep your online actions private, not just from hackers or your ISP, but even from the VPN provider itself. So both of these VPNs make sure your data stays secure. A crucial feature available on both ExpressVPN and NordVPN, especially useful for Mac users, is the kill switch. So this feature ensures that your internet connection will only be active when the VPN is working. So if your VPN connection drops for any reason, the kill switch will disconnect you from the internet altogether, preventing any data from being exposed. So this is particularly important for Mac users or any users who want to maintain security without worrying about accidental exposure when the VPN disconnects. And this goes for any device you want to use a VPN on, which with Express, you can cover up to eight devices, including your Mac or up to 10 with Nord. When it comes to protocols, both VPNs offer automatic options, but I prefer to manually select the fastest available. For ExpressVPN, that's the lightweight UDP protocol, which is great for speed and security. And for NordVPN, the Nordlinks protocol is a similar high performance option. So these protocols are optimized for the best connection speeds, which is especially noticeable on Macs with their efficient handling of network traffic. In terms of server locations, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, while NordVPN has 7,000 servers in 118 countries. So this means that both VPNs give you plenty of options to connect to servers around the world, which is excellent for accessing international streaming content, foreign websites, or any other service that's geo-restricted. But if you're still undecided, don't worry, both of these services offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can just try them out without having to fully commit. You can check out the reviews and links in the description for all the details I didn't cover in this video as well as pricing discounts. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you understand how easy it is to use a VPN on a Mac. But of course, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want me to cover anything else related to cybersecurity. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.